This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Somewhat Original YT. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm your host, Chris, and you're watching Fish for Thought. It's time for another fish tank review. Let's get started. What? Nothing, it's just. You didn't clap. Do I have to clap every time? No, but. We would like it if you clap. Like, is that too much to ask? Okay. Fish tank review. There you go. Good. Good boy. Okay. Anyways, guys, we're trying out this new thing where if the FTR episode gets more than 300 likes, I will start the next FTR. So now you have a real way of potentially pushing out more FTRs to watch. Make sure you do your part and drop that like. Also, if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, follow me on Instagram or join the Discord channel in the comments below. This is one of the worst tanks I've ever seen and me as well. That is a frogfish and it is probably a tank that's like five gallons. I even have my doubts on whether this is truly a saltwater. Like, do they even have saltwater in there? Now, I don't really know my saltwater material, but I know it needs more than this. And I'm pretty sure a single frogfish needs way bigger of a tank than just like five to 10 gallons. Really does look like just five gallons. Where did this guy even get a frogfish? I don't think they're very common in the aquarium trade. A lot of this is screaming illegal to me. Let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong. If you guys know more about frogfish care, sounds to me like this guy heard the frog in the name frogfish and was like, cool, I'm getting like a frog, but it's kind of like a fish. So I'm just gonna put him in this tank that I have lying around. And I hope he did make it saltwater because that's just going to kill the frogfish very quickly. Saltwater fish generally cannot live in freshwater. They're bodies are totally different. Simply through osmotic pressure, this thing is going to die very soon if it's just left in fresh water. This is like a next level bad fish tank and just horrible negligence. You gotta do your research, dude. Talking about negligence and research. My art teacher is a great guy, but... If he keeps his fish in such a horrible display, how good of an art teacher can this guy actually be? This is a cricket or insect container or a transport container at best. Not a permanent home for a goldfish that can grow very long. Needs filtration, is pooping all the time, so is getting poisoned by its own poop in that little amount of water. And the barf gravel, and of course, the SpongeBob house. You know, I love SpongeBob, but this is ruining it for me. When you spend your whole budget on out of tank decorations, I mean, what is that even? It, it reminds me of like the Colossal Titan's abs. Is it like a slab of meat or something? What is happening here? Why do you need this? And then the tank itself looks just horrendous. I like how you need to put a thumb up beside it to be like, no, no, this is good. This is good. And then there's the red outline outlining like, this is the part with where the fish are <laughs> in my fish tank. This is where the fish should be. At any time if you're making or buying a fish tank and you need help identifying where the fish should be kept in that fish tank, either don't buy it or don't make it. Bad idea. This is from Cephalon IO, also called AO Rye on the Discord channel. This is a tank that he's always showing off in the Discord server everywhere. But no complaints because it's pretty darn beautiful and I look forward to seeing all the updates that he's got. It's a very, very impressive looking tank. Different kinds of mosses, different carpeting plants, the reds, the greens, the textures, the understocking. And he even drew up an image before actually doing the aquascape, which is always a very good idea. Cephalon IO getting my five out of five. Very good job. This is from Ashley C, a longtime subscriber. There's a nice variety of plants in here and there's also some almond leaves here and there. I like the thickness of the substrate, providing a lot of room for the Amazon sorts roots to grow. It's also pretty understocked, but I definitely would encourage you to get it more planted up, cover the back a little bit more. 4.1 out of five, keep it up. This 0.25 gallon that PetSmart sells is an all time low. You got that right. That's the first time I've seen a 0.25 gallon fish tank. Is it me or is it just getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller? What's next? Like not even a gallon? Are they gonna just drop the gallons? 200 millimeters of space. You put the 200 there so people are like, wow, that's a lot of space. 
but then you, it's actually millimeters. That's basically what's happening here. If you notice a little dot in front of the two, it's a little dot, but the number 25, they made it pretty big. So the consumers would be like, whoa, 25, that's a big number. And even though they do know that it's 0.25, they see the big 25 and it's kind of like, this is probably big enough for a beta. It's all in the marketing. Good job, Top Fin. Good job killing more fish. Hope you're happy. Hope you can sleep well. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Betta fish arena. You know, when you start treating betta fish like Beyblades, let it rip. <laughs> let it flop. I don't know. Let it fight each other to the death. I don't even understand this. Like, why is that fish like levitating or floating? Is that like a dome? And then it can swim down, I guess? Actually, you know what? This might actually be bigger than the 0.25 gallon top fin. So, yikes, yes, because of all this extra stuff that the fish wouldn't care about ever, but it's bigger probably than 0.25 gallons. Nice. Just add water. It's like you buying one of those expandable toys where you add water and you can watch it grow over time, but it's actually a betta fish, and betta fish are actual lives, not just a toy that is an inanimate object. When you see the same quote, just add water, you know something's off. This is from Swish Splash. Now he emailed me and he said he's at 400 something subscribers, but he really wants to reach 1000. Let's all go help him out. In the meantime, this tank does look pretty artificial. However, it's really big and it's understocked and I'm curious to see what you're gonna stock it with and hopefully it will be understocked, it'll stay understocked. And I understand that not everyone has the time to look after life plants. The color gravel, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. For me, you're getting a three out of five. Next tank is sent in by Bianca Phelps. This tank looks nice and cozy for the one beta that's in there. Pretty good sized aquarium for a beta. Cause then once again, you don't want the tank to be too big because then the beta has a hard time finding food and hard time swimming around because of longer fins. So I would say this is a decent size for a beta. I like the rock placement and the plants that are planted in between the rocks. Kind of covers the bottom with Marimo moss ball, which isn't the best way to do it, but it's still all right. I'm thinking that at the time of this picture was taken, the tank is not very old, probably relatively newly set up. Can't wait for the plants to grow in more and to establish into the tank and make the tank look more lush. I see that that's probably a nutritious substrate, but you do have some plants that also can benefit from liquid fertilization. So make sure you're doing that. I recommend Seachem Flourish. Just one of your most basic liquid fertilizers. Four out of five, good job and keep it up. My mom wonders why the better to swim or eat. Mom, it's 65 degrees in there. Yeah, 65 degrees Fahrenheit is quite cold for a betta, but the betta could potentially adapt. It depends on the individual betta. I guess some betta are like keener on surviving than others, but it is a really cold temperature for the betta and they can definitely just stop eating. They can't even digest the food anyway if they put it in their mouths. So yeah, this is why I always say that bettas do need a heater, except in the summertime if your summer is you know, warm. Like in Canada, I always have a heater around for the winter. It gets a little bit too cold for these guys. Golden Arowana, Black Diamond Stingray, and two blood parrots in a 150 gallon. <laughs> when I saw the Stingray, it was just so funny. It looked like a freaking carpet in the <laughs> in this tank. It's basically one third or more of this tank. So that's what we're working with here. It's a beautiful Stingray, what a shame. You know, Stingray lives matter. If you have that kind of money to get a Stingray and Arowana, why not just spend it on a bigger tank and make everything look good. People need to understand that just because they have some really cool looking fish, it's not gonna do much if they put it in their stupid looking tank. Spotted in a Facebook plant group. Well, that's one way to lower the pH. I'm hoping those are not real citrus fruits in there. <laughs> what kind of Facebook plant group is this? Who would post this into any group? How did this person even like get here? Like physically putting these, I don't know, hopefully they're artificial, but even if they are artificial, why would you put those artificial slices in there and put that weird frog looking thing and then put a goldfish in what looks to be a mason jar? What has to come over you to do that? Is it a culmination of their life choices or the way they lived until now? I'm always just so confused. Like, do you think that looks good? Do you honestly think that he did a good thing <laughs> for anyone? And then to take a picture and post it in a Facebook group. I'll stop, I'll stop. I'm being too savage. 
Okay, let's just, this is a good place to stop. You already know what I'm gonna say about this with the water depth and getting it ready to be sold, but there's still fish in it sort of thing, and it's called fish. Artificial. You already know. Zero out of two billion. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode of FTR, make sure you hit that like button. Remember, I'm going to start FTRs right after it hits 300 likes, so make sure to help out. And let me know if there's other videos you want me to make, other videos that you want to see more often of, like skits, or if you want to see Rapashi more. Anyway, that's it for me for now. I'll see you again very soon, and don't forget to get your hands wet.